I am praise the Lord. It's good to be back out here at the King's Park, uh, corner of Commerce Street, Market Street, to tell people about Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, and His only begotten Son come to this world over 2,000 years ago. Uh, that we can have a home in heaven today. That's right. The Bible said that there is no other name given under heaven among men. Whereby we must be saved. Bless him. By Jesus Christ and him crucified. Yeah. The salvation plan of God. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Bless him. whosoever believeth in him should not perish and have everlasting life. God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. The only way that you're going to go over into heaven today. That's right. I thank God that He come to this world out uh, of seeking the same that which was lost. We're going to ask Brother Matt here to come and preach the Word of God. Bless him, man. Uh, you need the Lord. You just come over here. We'll pray for you and everything. That's what we're out here for is to spread the gospel, the good news. The Bible said it's cold water to a thirsty soul. Yeah. So is the good news from a far country. Won't find no good news on this side of life, but you'll find one good news, which is the Word of God, and Jesus come and died upon an old rugged cross That's to right. save us from a devil's hell. Come on, brother Matt. Bless him, Lord. Be reading John. Bless him, Lord. It starts in verse 64. It says, "But there are some of you that believe not, for Jesus knew that the beginning." From the beginning, who yeah, they are that believe Lord. not, who should be praying. And he said, Therefore, said I unto you, that no man come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Right. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also Lord. go away? Come on, Simon man. Peter answered him and said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the word of eternal life, life. and yeah. we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, said, Have I not chosen you twelve, and one of you is the devil? Come on. Let's speak of Jesus, or Judas Iscariot, the son yeah. of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. But as I was reading this, I thought about how it said, Bless him, Lord. Believe not. Talking about how he was betrayed, I, as a thought come to my mind, to my mind, don't be the one to betray. Right. You know, we, we walk in life and do what the Lord, I mean, if we're saved, we ought to do what he'd have us to do. Right. But, you know, the devil, he'll tempt us and try to get us to go back the other way. That's right. Take us back to our old life. Come on. But if you do that, you're betraying the Lord. Yeah. You're either in or you're out. There's no in between. But I, I thought about Bless it. I said, the thought come to my mind, don't be the one to betray. Right. Bless the Lord. And, we don't need to betray the Lord. We need to walk with Him and be the ones to, to say, "The Lord, who shall we go to?" Right. So He's been so good yeah. to us. He's done so much for us. We don't have nobody else to go to. Help him, man. You know, we Bless might even have friends in this life, but when it gets to a certain point, we can't go to them. We need to go to Him. That's right. Forget about all the cares of life. You know, yeah. I thought about that song, "Sweet Hour of Prayer." That yeah. Calls us from a world of terror, and it sure does. That's right. So, you know, That's we need to, right. We need Praise to walk with Him. Faithfully and forget about anything else. You know, the devil will try to tempt us, but just forget about that. Just keep going with the Lord. And we, we don't, like I said, we don't have nowhere else to go to. Help I mean, me. He's done so much for us, and He's given us a roof over our head, shoes on our feet, and clothes on our back. Right. He's done so much for us, we don't have nobody else to go to. Come on. So we don't need to be the ones to betray Him. We need to walk with Him faithfully to the end. And if we yeah. don't, we won't make it. We've got to walk with him faithfully, and he'll walk with us faithfully. He said he, he, he told Solomon, or he told David, that if Solomon walked with Bless him, Lord, come on. If, if he told Solomon, come on. He told David that as long as Solomon would walk with him, yeah. he would go with him. But he said, if you betray me, I'll betray you. That's right. These, uh, these people that say once in grace and always. Once saved, I always saved. That ain't right. No. He, you know, we've got to walk faithful with him, and he'll yep, walk faithful be with doers. us. Bless He's him. got a part in our lives, but we've also <laughs> got a part doing what he'd have us to do. Yeah. And he's not going to let us walk all over him and walk all over what the Lord done and right. still expect to die and go to heaven. That ain't how it works. Bless but we need to walk faithful with him, and he'll walk faithful with us. That's right. Man. Amen. Bless yeah, praise the Lord. I'm glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air coming after you and me. Joy is hard to share. What great yonder there will be when the saints shall rise. 
headed for that jubilee yonder in the sky. Oh, what singing, singing, oh, what shouting, shouting on the happy morning when we all shall rise. Oh, what glory, glory, hallelujah, when we meet our blessed Savior yonder in the sky. Saints of old will almost see when the dead shall rise, singing in the Holy Ghost, how the heavens will ring. And with drinking of an eye, changes there will be. Praising Christ for each is long to that jubilee. Oh, what singing, singing. Oh, what shouting, shouting on the happy morning when we all shall rise. Oh, what glory, glory, hallelujah. When we meet our blessed Savior yonder in the sky. Amen. That's all I know. Like I said, I don't know too much of the songs unless I got a song book. Yeah. But I turned over here to John chapter 5, starting with verse 8, talking about, amen, that there's going to be a resurrection uh, for the just and the unjust one day after a while. Amen. God's Son left this world as the Lamb of God, uh, slain before the foundation of the world, uh, died upon an old rugged cross. Uh, but the next time that He comes, uh, He's coming back as the line of the tribe of Judah has prevailed uh, to take all vengeance all there uh, that know not God, that obey uh, not the gospel. Like uh, Brother May uh, was preaching there, man, about Jesus asking uh, his disciples and asked Peter there, uh, will you also go away? Uh, Peter said to her, uh, shall we go to uh, thou hast the words of eternal life? Uh, but we know uh, that thou art the Christ, uh, the Son of the living God. Uh, there's going to be a final day uh, where God's going to judge uh, the secrets of man. Uh, according to my gospel, Paul right. said, uh, the Bible said uh, that every knee shall bow uh, and every tongue uh, shall confess uh, that Jesus Christ uh, is the Son of God. Uh, that to the glory of God the Father, uh, every other word uh, and every other thought uh, for the deeds done the Bible. Uh, where they be good or where they be evil. Yeah. Uh, chapter 5 uh, uh, of the book Bless of St. John, uh, verse 28, and it says, uh, Marvel not at this, uh, for the hour is coming uh, in which all that are in the graves uh, shall hear his voice yeah. uh, come for uh, they that have done good <laughs> unto the resurrection of life, uh, they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Uh, like I said, there's going to be a uh, resurrection day yeah. uh, one day after a while uh, when every person uh, is going to stand before God and uh, give an account uh, for the deeds on the body uh, where they be good uh, where they be evil yeah. uh, it's going to be uh, on that uh, final day at the last day at the last trial amen that uh, Jesus uh, is going to come off the throne uh, the Bible says uh, that every eye shall see him uh, even the ones that have pierced his eye yeah. uh, I shall look upon him uh, on that day uh, when he's going to step out on the clouds of glory. Amen. And he's going to set a uh, judgment upon uh, the world in which uh, we live in today. Amen. That's why he's coming back uh, looking for the ones uh, that are diligently seeking him uh, without sin uh, and the salvation. Uh, because this world uh, is getting in a worse shape. Uh, the Bible said uh, that evil men and seducers uh, shall wax worse and worse. Uh, deceiving and uh, being deceived. Uh, it ain't going to get any better down here. Uh, this world reserved on a judgment. Amen. Because he does show no uh, by a son of a rainbow. 
out uh, that he would not destroy uh, this world anymore with water, uh, but he's going to destroy uh, with fire and breath. So that's that's why Peter said, uh, according to his promise, uh, that we look for a new heaven and a new earth. Uh, we're in the well of righteousness. Amen. And it's coming soon, folks. Amen. We can see that uh, this nation has turned their back on God. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says uh, that all nations that forget God uh, shall be turned into hell. Uh, that sin is a reproach uh, to any nation. Uh, that righteousness right. uh, exalted the nation. Uh, but God said, uh, sent the Holy Ghost back uh, when the day of Pentecost had fully come. Uh, and the Holy Ghost uh, still going out, uh, seeking a bride, and uh, establishing a church. Uh, the only way uh, that you can get into uh, the body of Christ, uh, you must be born again right. uh, by the power of God. Uh, say by uh, the marvelous Christ of God. That's why Nicodemus, uh, that was a ruler of the Jews, amen, he went to Jesus by night, and he told you, Jesus told him uh, that you must be born again. Uh, but Nicodemus, I was looking on uh, the outward affairs. He said, how can a man be born? Uh, when he is old, uh, can he enter the second time uh, into his mother's womb? Uh, but Jesus said, uh, verily, verily, I uh, see unto thee, uh, what is born of flesh uh, is of flesh, uh, but what is born of spirit uh, is of spirit. He said, more for not uh, that a man must be born of the water and of the spirit. He said, in no wise, uh, he cannot even say uh, the kingdom of God, uh, and that's the only way uh, that you're going to get into uh, the body of Christ, uh, is hearing the word of God, uh, uh, being a priest and a parent of uh, the Holy Ghost, uh, Paul said, uh, that it's not uh, God, and it's not the words of man's wisdom, uh, but it's not uh, the parent of uh, the Holy Ghost, a man that is qualified by God, and by the book, uh, that preached the everlasting gospel, how uh, to cry loud. And to spare not, uh, uh, to lift up his voice like a trumpet, uh, to warn the people of flame uh, from the wrath to come, uh, because God shows his love uh, through his son as uh, the Lamb of God, uh, slain before the foundation of the world. Uh, but the next time that he comes, he's coming back as the line of the tribe of Judah right. and prevail uh, to take all vengeance of them, uh, that know not God, uh, that obey not the gospel. Uh, when that final so uh, here's the message of uh, the birth, of uh, the death, the only resurrection of yeah. uh, the Father, Son, and uh, the Lord. Holy Ghost. Uh, that you must be born again uh, by the power of God, uh, saved by uh, the marvelous grace of God. Listen, uh, to get put into uh, the body of Christ. Uh, the Bible said, uh, by one spirit, uh, we're baptized into one body. Amen. When they confess uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, I uh, believe in that heart uh, that God has raised them uh, from the dead. Yeah. Uh, they get placed into uh, the body of Christ. Uh, when that last soul uh, fulfills that body. That's why Jesus Christ is going to come back on the clouds. Uh, the Bible says uh, that the Lord himself uh, shall descend from heaven uh, with a shout of a voice of an archangel and the trump of God and the king of Christ.